Hello crafty friends, since my last LED card, some of you asked me if I could do a video in English, that's why I'm here today. Okay, so let's get started. For making LED cards we can use copper foil, thin foil or conductive silver. And we also need this tiny little SMD LEDs and they are really really tiny. And we need CR type of battery. To make the LED card we need a circuit and this consists of a battery, a light and something that is conductive. The LEDs and the batteries, each one have a plus side and a minus side and we have to take care that we only connect the plus side with the plus side and the minus side with the minus side. And we also don't want the lights to shine the whole time so we need something to switch on and off. So the red thing you are seeing right now is our control. For some cards we need more than just one LED and in our case we will connect the LEDs parallel just because if we connect them in a row and one LED isn't working the rest of our construction won't work. Okay, now we are going to start with copper tape and copper tape is really nice to use because one side is self-adhesive so we can glue the tape directly to the paper. And the handling is also very nice because it is very stable and it won't tear off that easy. And as I already told you in the theory, we need a counter to switch the light on and off. And now we have to connect with the top copper tape our LEDs and the battery. We have to take care that our way from the battery to the LEDs isn't that curvy because making curves with the tape can be really really hard. Now I just use a bone folder to press the tape really smooth to the paper. The first part of the circuit is now done and we start making the other part. I like to start at the LED side of the circuit just because we have to really take care that both tape are near to each other so the LEDs can connect with both tape. Now the circuit is all finished and we just have to apply the battery and the LEDs and before gluing everything together I just test if everything is working. Now we want to glue the LED to the card and herefor I use super glue. In the video you see me putting down some drops of super glue then gluing the LEDs over there. After this video I tried it in the other way. I just put one drop of glue, put one LED over there, pressed it really hard for about one minute, then it worked really really good. And later I put another drop of glue and put another LED over there and pressed it once again really really hard. Here you see me struggling a bit. This is why I'm using here adhesive tape and press it also really really hard to the paper. In summary I can say that applying the copper tape is really easy. The handling is really good because you don't need any extra glue but gluing the LEDs down to this card can be really hard and really struggling. Okay, now I want to show you how to create LED cards using thin foil. Tin foil is the cheapest way to make LED cards because everybody has some foil at home. The tin foil just have to be cut in small stripes and here you see me using my Scotch ATG gun to glue the tin foil to the paper. And now the same procedure as the last time, we need a control to switch the lights on and off. This is my red piece of paper here. And this stripe of glue is for the other side from our circle. Now I apply the tin foil to the card and I find it really easy to apply the tin foil because the foil is very movable but at the same time you have to take care that it won't tear. Um, as I already did with the copper foil, I take my bone folder to press the foil really hard to the paper. Like the last time, I like to start the second part from the circuit from the LED side. Some steps are exactly like making LED cards with copper foil. You have to press the foil very hard to the paper. I like to start always at the LED side 
when I make the second part of the circuit and the control is also exactly the same. When I make my LED cards and I'm finished with the construction, I always like to test it before I glue everything together because you never know where you did the mistake. Now you see me gluing the LED with a super glue and here I just put one drop of glue down and press the LED really really hard to the paper. I hold it for about one minute before I let it go and you can see it worked perfectly. And now I just have to repeat the step. You see that the construction isn't working like it should, so I have to fix this problem. I try to press the LED one more time to the paper. I also try it with the adhesive tape method. After pressing and trying for a time, I brought it to work. While I was trying out my construction, I realized that I had too much glue on the control. So I put another stripe of thin foil over there. But now I did a really big mistake. I cut into the thin foil and nothing was connected anymore. Normally I would start to cry because everything was finished and worked and now I did this big mistake. But the advantage of thin foil is that you can take another stripe of thin foil and glue one on top of another and it will connect again. But you definitely shouldn't do it too often. In case you teared your thin foil, you can fix it that way. Last but not least, I want to show you how to make LED cards using conductive silver. This is the expensive way, but also the easiest. The beginning is just as in the other two variants. We need to make a control. And the only thing we have to do now is to draw in our circuit with the conductive silver. Before starting, there are some notes you have to take. Make sure that you shake the conductive silver very well before you use it, because we need all the conductive silver particles in the paint. The paint itself isn't conductive, so you have to imagine that the electricity will jump from particle to particle. If the difference between two particles too big, the electricity can flow. While painting with the conductive silver, you should open your window because conductive silver is toxic like other paints. And make sure that you don't touch the paint with your fingers and don't get any paint on your fingers. Because when you touch the battery and you connect with the plus side and the minus side, you will close the circuit and you will get shocked. We are only using a 3 volt battery and it wouldn't be that painful but nevertheless you shouldn't do it. Here you see me gluing the LEDs now with simple glossy accents. You can use any other glue you want and you see it worked perfectly by the first time. At this point I just want to apologize for my very mad English and that it took so long until I get this video finished but it was really hard and really struggling. Anyhow, I hope this video was very helpful for you and in case you have any questions, please let me know and just comment below.